It's the grandson of right thought. The Most High said he's going to destroy this wicked nation. The daughter of Babylon. And the people that have been running this nation, Esau, the Most High is going to destroy you as well. And a lot of people are just in denial of the facts. The Most High said he was going to destroy them because they have a perpetual hatred for Jacob, the so-called Negroes on this earth. Now, if you watched my last video, does that look like hatred to you or does that look like love? Nigga lynched off a tree, body all mutilated. They got man, woman, and child watching this like it's a picnic. Got their little girls. What kind of people bring their little girl to a lynching? What are you trying to instill in that girl? What are you trying to teach her? A lot of y'all forgot like These loops that we are going through I told you time is loops So we've been through this loop before Just in the 60s Y'all don't remember this Y'all parents was around When people were still being lynched Y'all parents were in high school when people were still being lynched, <laughs> still being killed, murdered. All of this stuff. This was just 60 years ago. Just 60 years ago, that particular thing was happening freely, openly. In this city right here, Detroit, my father told me when he was a boy growing up right here in this city, he was a teenager, there was martial law in this city. And they watched a man get shot dead on their porch for being out after curfew. He was trying to run into any house he could get in. He tried to run into their house and he was shot on their porch for being outside after curfew. My father told me that. And y'all act like this is something that's far, 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 far off in history. My father's still alive today. So what did y'all, what y'all think they did? Your enemies. You think they just took those feelings that was causing them to put the dogs on you and beat you and hang you and lynch you and enslave you, murder you, kill you, false accuse you, slay you and then hold themselves not guilty. You thought they just turned that off in this generation. And now we're all friends now. We all are getting along now. I'm sure that's the way y'all would like it to be. It can just go away. We'll brush it under the rug. It's okay. It didn't happen. It's in the past. Why don't you just let it go? Because Abba didn't let it go. Abba said he's going to destroy you because of your violence and your perpetual hatred toward us. Y'all have a perpetual hatred. Do you know understand the word perpetual? That means non-stop ongoing hatred. It never ends. Though they speak smooth, war is in their heart against you. And a lot of them, instead of just keeping it real, they try to be your friend. 
And it just comes off very, very uncomfortable. When I was in the Matrix, I worked for General Motors. And now, while at work one day, you know, it's a mixed multitude of people that work for General Motors. You're going to meet all kinds of people. But while working there, I met a guy, so-called white man, young guy, same age as me. And he would try to get me to hang out with him and his friends and they would go on trips and he said, come on, man, why don't you come with this man, hang out with us and blah, 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 blah. And it was okay that he asked me to do this, but I started to really listen to what he was saying. And he would say to me, come on, man, what do you don't want to hang out with me because I'm white? You don't want to come because I'm white. You don't want to be around all these white people. <laughs> Should I want to be? Based off of our history. Not saying I that I wanted to or I didn't want to. I'm just asking. Should I want to? And then he would always be surprised at the things that I told him that I did or I was good at. For instance, I played hockey. For years I played hockey. When he saw me play hockey, he couldn't believe his eyes. He was shocked, surprised. When he heard me speak the languages that I spoke, he was shocked and surprised. Why? What were your ideals of me before you found those things out about me? And then he went on to tell me, you're different. Different than who? I went to look at a house one time. There were two so-called white men there. And when I talked to them and shook their hands and walked through the house and whatever the case may be, one of them says to me, man, you're different than the rest of them. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but you're different. Different than who? <laughs> you're good. Good? And first of all, ain't nobody good but Abiyah. And secondly, what makes you say that? There's always this unspoken envy, hatred underneath the surface. <laughs> I'd be a fool to deny what Abba has told me, that y'all have a perpetual hatred for my people. long as you go along with the program and play along and play nice, then you're a good boy. But the moment you start telling the truth, then you are an enemy. So like I said, what is it going to be today? The fake or the real? Because Abba said he's going to separate the wheat from the tares. That goes on every level. So those people who really love God's people, you guys are going to be caught in with the wheat. You who hate God's people, who have a perpetual hatred for them, you're going to be chaff and cast out into the fire. And it's that simple. And now we're here on that, on that time on the clock now, see? All truth has been revealed now. Who is who? Who the Israelites are? Who Edom is? Who the Canaanites are? Who's infiltrated what? Who's stolen what? It's all been exposed now. Abba has poured all of the information out for us to see. And so now what are y'all going to do? Be in y'all feelings about this? Want to conjecture? Make up ideals as to what you think is going on here? Why America is being judged? Why do you think America is being judged? Y'all thought God hated the Negro? The world. That's what y'all thought? That's why that happened. So you're telling me that the so-called Jewish, Jewish, like a Jew, Jewish, had a so-called holocaust and y'all got memorials and get sent money and 
help them and send billions of dollars over there to the fake ass Israel and all of that shit. But hundreds after hundreds after hundreds of years of, of enslavement, murder, killing, disenfranchising, lying to, twisting, manipulating. You think there's no payment for that, that you can just go scot-free. I'm sure you would all like to do that. But that ain't the way it work. ABBA don't deal with unbalanced scales. So like I said, when you see a picture of a lynching and you see children there with smiles on their faces, what the fuck do you think they grew up to be? That girl smiling in that picture at that man hanging with her looking up like this with that smile on her face, that devilish ass smile on her face. What kind of bitch do you think she grew up to be? She loves black people. She loves Negroes. Is that what y'all think? She, she loves the so-called Negro? Or do you think that put an imprint in her mind of the value of that black man that was hanging, the so-called black man that was hanging there? Valueless. And that's why she was shown it. Valueless. Cattle. An object. A beast. An animal. Not a real person with feelings. Y'all take a man. Don't give him any trial. Kill him. Mutilate him. Lynch him. Hang him in front of the... Uh, hundreds of people and then make a postcard about the shit and send it to your family saying yeah we had a great lynching here I wish you could have been here this shit exists on the earth and you think nobody's gonna have to pay for that y'all that fucking ignorant you y'all all say you worship God all you descendants just like there are descendants of the slaves there are descendants of slave owners aren't there and y'all think that y'all just get to get away with it. So the descendants of the slaves still have to bear the, that, that lifestyle from their ancestors, what they inherited. The ignorance, the not having knowledge, the being stripped away, being just told what you are. They inherited that. So what do you think you're going to inherit? You inherited all the land you stole. You inherited all the house you got. You inherited the trust funds that you have. You inherited all the wealth the fuck that you got. But you don't think you're going to inherit the curses. Of murdering, killage, plundering. Evil. <laughs> there are two sides to this. And listen up very carefully. On the one side you have what I told you. Wheat. Wheat. That are going to be gathered into the barn. Along with those original branches. That Abba has. That are his. He's going to graft in some branches of the other nations. That were brought in. Who humbled down to the truth. So then the same goes. Who those who follow the lie. They will be grafted in tares. Do y'all understand that? They will be grafted into that tree. So say you're an Israelite. But you don't accept the truth. Well you'll be grafted into the, to the chaff. You'll be broke off of the original tree and grafted into the chaff. And vice versa. Y'all don't want to do shit for God's people. You want to give billions of dollars away to these fake ass Jewish, but you don't want to help God's people who are living destitute today. Living in bandos. Being put out of everywhere they go. Waking up every day without a nickel in their pocket. Wondering how they're going to eat and how they're going to clothe themselves. And if it were not for the words that Yahusha taught us, which are take no thought of those things, we would have died out here. Without his truth, we wouldn't have not have made it. But y'all don't want to help God's people. Then why do you, how do you love God, but you don't love his people that he chose? It is written. Out of all the trees that the Most High created, he has a favorite tree. Out of all the rivers of water that he created, he has a favorite river and a favorite stream. Out of all the lands that he created, he has a favorite area of land. 
Out of all of the flowers he created, he has a favorite flower. And out of all the people he created, Israel is his favorite. His elect chosen people. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of this earth. Deuteronomy 7, 6. Read it and then weep. All my enemies. Has the Lord cast away his people which he foreknew? God forbid. He ain't cast away his people. I told you, if you bless Israel, you shall be blessed. All of you people on the earth have been blessing Canaanites. The false Israel. Cavemen. Cave beasts. That's who y'all been sending y'all money over there to. You ain't blessing God's people. Because you don't love God's people. Because if you did, you would give back what belonged to them. You so-called Christians, you fucking white evangelicals running around here praying and praying and praying for your country to be held up. Come on, let's pray for America. God bless America. God don't bless America. How could he bless this place when it does what it does? When it's all full of lies. How could he bless a lie? Y'all know good and damn well what you did over here. How could the Most High bless that? And why would he bless you? Y'all so stupid. Y'all think y'all didn't got away with this shit for so long that God is blessing you. And then and then your forefathers who did all this wicked shit and killed all of, God, of God's elect people and then put themselves up as God's elect. Then they taught their children. They taught you guys, you generation of so-called white people. Your parents taught you that you were God's people and that Jesus was white. And, and, and they made movies where all the prophets were white. They got Charleston Heston up there as Moses. Egypt, Egypt, Egyptians and Hebrews looked similar. And how do we know that? Because when Joseph went to Egypt and his brothers then came to Egypt later on and they saw him, they didn't even know it was Joseph. They thought he was just an Egyptian man. So that means they look similar. So how the fuck are they white people? That would have to mean that the Hebrews and the Egyptians are white people and they look similar. Y'all believe that shit? Y'all believe that there were white people out there in the desert? Building pyramids and sphinxes and all that shit in the desert? Y'all believe that? Shame on you guys, man. Shame on y'all for denying this truth. For not having a heart today to understand this. Abba, man, look, these so-called Negroes on the earth have been destroyed for hundreds of years. If you're going to bless them and rise them up, then I can understand why you do that. Y'all can't even do that shit. Y'all can't even do it. All y'all do is talk shit. Yeah, why don't you guys build yourselves on up? Well, let's see. You ever heard of Oklahoma? Bombing? When the Negroes did just that, when they built themselves up, built their own community, built their own banks, built their own businesses, hospitals, pharmacies, stores, neighborhoods. And what did you do? Bombed it. And y'all got the nerve to call other people terrorists. Y'all are some fucking hypocrites, bro. Y'all are so one-sided in your mind, you can't see nothing but your white ass. Y'all can't see nothing but that shit, man. Y'all can't see nobody else's pain. You only want to see your own. 
You can't see nobody else's. 9-11, what a tragedy. When they're lying to you about that. Some Arab niggas got on a plane and crashed the plane into the building. The building got hit way at the fucking 110th floor, but it broke, it shattered down to the fucking bottom. And y'all believe that. And they call that a terrorist attack. And then they send troops all the way over there to these people's country on the other side of the world and destroy their nation. And y'all vote for these motherfuckers and y'all root them on. But y'all motherfuckers are going to a church building and blow it up with the little girls in there and then say you did no sin. Y'all will take a young boy and beat him to a pulp till he's unrecognizable and then say you did no sin. Y'all will take a Hebrew woman and cut her belly open, stump the baby to death, hang her and lynch her, and then say you did no sin. Blessed be the Lord, for he's delivered them into our hands. Y'all think y'all blessed by God because God lets you do what he did. He allowed it. You think you're blessed. Y'all better humble the fuck down today, man. There's only a few of you that, that will. Most of y'all ain't gonna do it. So you'll pay. With your blood. Simple. It's already written. Y'all just thought, you're gonna keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Man, look. I went to a, a person's house today that I've known for a very long time. I went, in, I went in there and they were telling me, I asked them how they were doing. I haven't seen them in a long time. I said, how are you doing and everything? They were telling me how they were doing. And then they were telling me about this this virus thing that's going on. And so how they won't let nobody in their house. And they were skeptical about letting people in their house. and all the other. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's just everybody's living in bondage now. In fear. Oh my God, I'm going to get sick. Don't cough around me. Don't come in my house because this is going to happen. Now niggas can't come to your house. When did God ever say that? Don't fellowship from house to house. Don't go and see about your neighbor when they're sick. Don't do that. That's not what he said. He said when somebody's sick, go check on them. When somebody's down and out, go check on them. When somebody's in prison, go check on them. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no interest in Abba's ways Y'all got no interest in it man And so y'all think y'all gonna make a mockery The Most High is not mocked He's not mocked by any of this So the, to the house of Israel I say Siloam And to the rest I say Happy Judgment Day And let this shit come down today And let it be done in the name of truth and love. Silwam.